Hello everyone, I am Shopnil Banerjee and today in this video we are going to talk over a very interesting topic that you may have also encountered at some point of your life. So whenever you are traveling by an aeroplane, have you ever noticed some kind of pain sensation or blocking sensation in your ear? Or after that you hear a popping sound suddenly and after that everything normalizes. Have it also occurred with you? So here in this video, I'm going to tell you the main culprit behind this incident and I am also going to tell you some methods by which you can counter that. So here the main villain of our story is the air pressure. So when the aeroplane is taking off or landing, there is a sudden change in the air pressure. There are three compartments of our ear, the external ear, the middle ear and the internal ear. Between the external ear and the middle ear, there is a delicate structure called tympanic membrane. So what happens when the flight is taking off, there's a decrease in air pressure outside that causes a low pressure in the external ear. But in the middle ear, the pressure remains almost the same. And that is why there's a push in the tympanic membrane that causes a pain sensation. And the opposite phenomena occurs during landing of the flight. That when the flight is landing, the height of the flight is decreasing. And as a result, the outside pressure is increasing. But the air pressure in the middle ear remains almost the same. That's why the tympanic membrane pulls inside. So here you will have to remember that there's a very important connection between our middle ear and our nose. That's the eustachian tube. Now when the eustachian tube opens up, that makes the pop sound and that is why after the popping sound everything normalizes. So now I shall tell you two or three methods by which you can easily counter this. So what you can do when the flight is taking off or landing, you can just pinch your nose and try to swallow something. You can drink water and by that you will be able to open up the eustachian tube and the pressure will normalize. And now another method that you can do only while the flight is descending, that is the Valsalva maneuver. So what you will have to do, you will have to pinch your nose and with your mouth closed, try to blow in. And thus you will be able to open up the eustachian tube. So what you can do, you can swallow, you can drink water, you can perform the Valsalva maneuver and thus you will be able to open up the eustachian tube. And that is our main target to normalize the air pressure in your middle ear as per to the external environment. But one thing you will have to remember that perform Valsalva maneuver only during descent of your flight because in Valsalva maneuver you are increasing the air pressure in your middle ear and while the flight is ascending there's a decreased air pressure already in the external environment so the tympanic membrane is already pushing out and in this time if you are trying Valsalva you will also push it further so it will increase your sensation not decrease and also one very important thing to remember that if you have any infection in your nasal cavity then don't perform Valsalva because in this way you will open up the eustachian tube and the infection may go into a middle ear and it may cause any type of middle ear infection. So that was all for this video. I hope it was very easy to understand and I think it will help you during your next flight journey. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and bye.